now now it's time of the version control part where we uh, upload our source code to a um, <coughs> Bitbucket account and we create new repository so let's start first by uh, creating a repository inside our project folder so let's close the server for now let's clear up the screen let's enlarge that we can close all these files we don't need them anymore for now and that's all um, the files and folder that we created for this project and let's um, let's initialize a new git repository for our project We use git init to do that, and then let's see the status of our new repository. So we have no commit, we are on the branch master, and these are all unfucked files, so let's add them. We use the git add and the dot at the end, so we say let's add everything and track every changes. So let's check the status again, so we have all these new files that are ready to be committed <coughs> and let's commit them is git commit minus m so we just input the master together and we say um, upload uh, let's say initial commit of full application and now we can check the status again we are on the branch master there is nothing to commit if we want to see the log we use git log and we now see that I made this commit on today and the, this is the message at the left so now what we should do is create new repo on the Bitbucket account. Uh, this is my Bitbucket account. We can press create to create new repo. And the new repository will have a name and we can call it OP project, course project. So it should just like that. Okay, oh, OP um, course project. This is going to be a public repo, so oh, everyone can see. So you guys can see the repository and can clone it if you want. You can do whatever you want with it. You can copy it and reuse it for your project. Uh, it's a really simple project, so you might want to make some changes and improve some uh, of its. Um, functionalities but for now this is what we are going to upload and let's say this is the project oriented crash core project and the language is PHP language and we press this button to create the repository and this is where we see the instruction that Bitbucket provides to us so uh, get your local git repository on Bitbucket so I have a local bit, uh, git repository and what I'm going to do is connect is following step number two connect my existing repo to the git to the Bitbucket account so I am going to copy that string of code so that adds the remote um, repository to the to my um, to my local repository so when I push the changes I will update the remote repository so let's say git remote add origin and this is the repository that we will add as a remote so now if we do git remote minus b we will see that we have the um, origin repository and that is the one that we just created on Bitbucket 
and now what we are going to do is simply push the origin to the master and now we just copy this command now it is going to ask me for a password I think yeah and let me input that and once you input your password so you need to create an account on Bitbucket so once you have an account you can mm, push your local repository to the GitHub uh, Bitbucket account and that's what I've done here and uh, now I have pushed the master branch my local repo so if I do git status I get my own branch master and that my branch is up to date with the origin which is the one that I show you here and nothing to commit and working tree is clean now let's go back to the Bitbucket account and let's refresh the page and we should see our source code in here and we do so this is the project that we created you can clone it just press this clone button and copy that and you can clone that inside your project folder that's it for this short extra uh, part of the object-oriented crash course that has nothing to do with object-oriented programming this is a um, quick extra about pushing the code to a Bitbucket account that I wanted to show you and that's it for um, this course I might make an, an extra uh, part, a bonus part where we will cover some of the advanced topics of the object oriented PHP programming language which are the um, traits and the um, abstract classes and methods and that will be part of another uh, video probably uh, that I will record this week thank you thank you for watching and have a good day bye